The Biden administration confirms it has paused shipments of ammunition to Israel over concerns of a ground invasion of the Gaza border city, Rafah. Republicans are demanding answers following the news. Last month, Congress passed a $95 billion foreign aid package for Israel and Ukraine, earmarking $15 billion in aid for the Israeli military. U.S. officials said the administration paused the shipment of 3,500 bombs to apply pressure to Israeli leadership. The White House voiced concerns the weapons could be used in Israel's Rafah offensive, where more than a million Palestinians have fled to amid the Israel-Hamas war. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise accused the president of appeasing what Scalise called Biden's, quote, radical anti-Semitic base. It is time for the Biden administration to stop holding up that aid to Israel. Congress came together in a very bipartisan way to pass that much needed relief so that they can go and root out a terrorist organization who killed Israelis, who killed Americans, who still has about 130 hostages that they're holding. And the Biden administration is going to hold up the aid to Israel? Republican Senators Joni Ernst and Ted Budd wrote a letter to the Biden administration demanding to know why Congress was never notified of the decision to delay the weapons shipment. Republicans want to know why the Biden administration withheld the aid, if the administration has plans to withhold aid in the future, and to explain how the decision to withhold the aid is helpful to Israel defending itself from terrorists. The decision to delay the weapons shipment came after President Biden promised numerous times since October 7th to have Israel's back. Here's what Biden said just moments after signing the military aid package into law. My commitment to Israel, I want to make clear again, is ironclad. The security of Israel is critical. It will always make sure that Israel has what it needs to defend itself against Iran and terrorists it supports. In February, Biden issued a memorandum stating that recipients of U.S. military aid must follow U.S. laws. The Biden administration is expected to deliver its verdict to Congress Wednesday on whether Israel has violated international laws or U.S. laws when it comes to airstrikes on Gaza or withheld humanitarian aid for Palestinians. If Israel is found to have violated U.S. laws, Biden could face more pressure from Democratic lawmakers to continue withholding military aid to the Jewish state. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. If you want more stories just like this one, download the Straight Arrow News mobile app.